In 2002 I was born, and my parents were extremely excited. But they shouldn't have been, for there was something wrong with me. I did not yet have a profound love for gobos. Gobos are essentially a pattern stencil that you place in front of a light source in order to shape the shadows that are created. They use them lots in theatre and stage production, as they can create interesting patterns on the stage floor, the walls and the cast. They can create extra texture and atmosphere, which helps with the storytelling. But my love for gobos truly started when I began using them in 3D. Not only do gobos add extra realism to a shot, but they just make everything look extra cool. The gobos I use are from a gobo light texture pack by B Production. This pack is really cool as you can simply just drag and drop the gobos from your asset library and into your blender scene, and they are fully customizable. Here are a few shots I've made with them. As you can see in this shot, when the gobos are added, it adds a lot of extra texture and atmosphere, and just makes it look cool. For these shots, I use some gobobos to make it look like the sunlight is seeping through the leaves of trees. I wanted the shadow of the window frame to be visible here, but instead of just modelling an entire window that's going to be off camera anyway, I can simply use bobos. I've always liked it in movies when a character's walking down a dark hallway and then there's just vents of light above them, and as they walk through, then like the light shines on them. Um, so yeah, I just use the bogobos in this case. Here I used some Ogdo Bogdos to simulate water caustics. But what I love most about gobos is their ability to blend CG objects into live action footage. As you can see here, there is a man named Ethan. Running from a drone. I just used a simple HDRI to light the drone, and instead of completely destroying my computer by modeling hundreds of trees and thousands of leaves, just to cast shadows on the drone, I can simply use a gobo with a leaf texture and cast it onto the drone based on the position of the real sun in my scene. So yeah, gobos are just awesome and I love them.